Well, we're spending some time on these devotionals talking about John chapter 7 and verse 38. Jesus said, He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And we've been talking about rivers lately and about how rivers are strong and powerful, how they overcome all obstacles and how they never, as long as that river is connected to the headwaters, that river never never runs dry. It never stops. It never stops running. It may hit an obstacle sometime and it has to either go around it or go over it, or maybe it just overpowers it and goes through it. But if a river is connected to the headwaters, that river will never stop flowing. Now for us as Christians, Jesus is the headwaters. He is the one we have to stay connected to. And so when he said, he who believes in me out of his heart will flow rivers of living water by believes there, he means trust. And with that idea, if I'm trusting Jesus, I'm depending on him, I'm not worrying about everything, I'm just relying and trusting uh, in him. When I do that, here comes this river, these rivers of living water. And we've talked about the river of love and the river of joy. And today I want us to think for just a moment about the river of peace. You know, one of my favorite songs growing up in, as, in, as a kid was the old song, I've Got Peace Like a River. You know, I've sung that song many times uh, when I didn't have peace. And now it seems like we don't sing that song very often, but I'll tell you this, I've got that peace. I'd rather not sing the song and have peace like a river than to sing peace like a river and not have the peace. Now, it'd probably be better to do both. But I'll tell you this, if we'll trust in Jesus, one of the things that's going to happen to us is we're going to have rivers of living water, and part of that is peace, rivers of peace running out of us. So let me ask you today, do you have that? At this time in your life, would you say, you know what, John, in spite of what I'm going through and the challenges I might be facing right now, you know what? I've got a river of peace uh, that's flowing out of me, flowing in me and flowing out of me. I've just got peace. I'm full of peace. Well, uh, that's a great testimony. Others listening today, watching this may say, you know what, John, truth be known, I don't really have that peace. Uh, not only am I lacking in love and a little weak in joy, but peace has kind of gone... Uh, AWOL is missing in action, and I don't know how to get my peace back. Well, I'll tell you how to get your peace back. Get your focus on Jesus. One of the verses I quote most often, Isaiah 26, 3, Isaiah the prophet talking to God, and he said, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. If you could only memorize one verse in the Bible, that might be the one to memorize right there. He said, God, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Here's how to have peace. Trust Jesus. You trust Jesus with whatever it is that you're worrying about and you'll have peace. I've always said that faith and peace are like parallel railroad tracks. They always run together. And so if a person says, you know, I've, I've got about 75% peace, that means they've got about 75% faith. 50% peace, 50% faith, no peace, no faith, 100% peace, you've got 100% faith. If you will trust Jesus, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have a river. You know, a lot of Christians don't have a river flowing out of them. They've dried up. The river has, has just dried up and their life is dry. And if we're not careful, that can happen to any of us. I, that's happened to me before, certainly, where I just have felt a spiritual dryness. But I've learned this. If I'll trust Jesus, no matter what I'm facing, just trust him, abide in him, walk with him. When I fall down, get up. When I sin, confess that sin, ask forgiveness and move on and ask him to help me not to sin uh, next time I'm tempted. Well, I'm, if I'll just trust Jesus and walk with him, one of the things that's going to happen, that river is just going to begin to bubble. That river is going to begin to flow. That river is going to come through me and that river is going to uh, satisfy me and that river is going to be a blessing to a lot of other people. And so do you want to have peace? then trust Jesus today. Tell him you trust him and keep your focus on him, not your problems and not the negativity in your life. I do everything I can to stay as far as I can from anything negative. I, I refuse to let my ears be garbage cans for negativity. I will not do it. If I'm in a setting and something turns negative, I try to saturate that place with my absence as discreetly and graciously as I can. Because I don't want to be in that setting. I can't handle that. I don't. I want to keep my mind on God and keep things focused on being positive and trusting in Him. Now, if there's a problem and we have to deal with reality, we can't put our heads in the sand. 
But I'm just talking about idle chatter where somebody saying that so and so said this and somebody thinks this and the politician did that and the, all these things are happening. Well, I don't want to hear that. I want my mind focused on God. And I'll tell you this. One of the things I've been doing lately, for what it's worth, that has been a blessing to me, I've been watching less news because I find this, the news tends to aggravate me and it frustrates me. And I think if you want me to be totally honest, and I know that you do, I think that there's some people, and I have been guilty of this at times, so I feel like I'm, uh, it's fine for me to say it because it's been true of me. Some people are more influenced by the news than they are by the Bible. Some people spend more time following the news than they do reading the Bible. And they wonder why the river dried up, why, whether they don't have any peace, no joy, no love in their heart. Instead of love, now there's hate. Instead of joy, now there's misery. Instead of peace, now there's anxiety. I wonder where that came from. I'll tell you where it came from. It came from focusing on something other than Jesus. Now, that doesn't mean we read our Bible all day long or pray all day long. Doesn't mean that we never watch the news or read the paper or know what's going on in the world. Doesn't mean that at all. But it does mean this. Those things need to become less and less. And God in the Bible need to become more and more. And so I'm just telling you today, if you want to have peace and walk in a, and have like that river just flowing from you, get your focus on Jesus. Turn the TV off. Open your Bible up and read something. And when you get finished reading it, uh, pray about it. And then just, when you finish all that, just look up to the heavens and say, Jesus, I trust you. And I love you with all my heart. And as you, when you do that, it's like you just, you just, the river, you just activated the river. And that river is going to start running. That river is going to start flowing in your life. So uh, I want you to be peaceful. I want to be peaceful. But the only way is to trust Jesus. Peace is the result of faith. Peace follows faith like night follows day. Trust Jesus today. And let that river of peace flow in you.